where these philosophies came from and why I had to do it. I got divorced. I was going through a divorce and my life was completely turned upside down. Now, part of this is I didn't do pre-planning and I wasn't in a financial position to stop the carnage. Uh, I was married, went two children, and I was a hardworking guy. You know, I had a full-time job, had a part-time job, and I did my best, but it just wasn't enough. She wasn't really happy. She was always complaining, and I didn't cheat on my wife. I didn't hit my wife. I thought, you know, if I wasn't doing that, that perhaps, you know, anything we could work out. Well, my thoughts were wrong. So she filed for divorce. She accused me of hitting her. And I remember the mayor of the police coming because I had just came home from work. And the cop, it was this blonde headed cop. He was looking at her at the flashlight all up in her face. There was this uh, dark haired cop roving the perimeter. And he, he just said those magic words, ma'am. Honestly, I don't think he touched you. And it was like a sigh of relief. And due to Georgia law, someone had to leave. She took the kids. She left. She took the car. We only had one car. And it was just like devastating because, you know, I make light of this stuff in the videos, but she betrayed me, the ultimate betrayal, for something I didn't do. So I was forced in this situation where I had to make money, but I had to make money off the books because anything that I made, she would ask for more child support. She was always on me. I mean, she used to talk to me like this, like, so you got something for me? I mean, it was a very authoritative, condescending way that she would relate to me. And I mean, it was patently disgusting. So I figured out a way. And one of the first ways that I figured out how to get money off of the books or to hide income was at business environments. This is where I learned the power of an LLC, because when your child support order comes for you, it comes for you. It comes in your name. It came in Glendon Cameron's name. It didn't come in GC Solutions. And my ex-wife didn't know about GC Solutions. So we would go back for reconsideration. And I would just turn in my pay stubs, which I manufactured myself. They took them. They went with it. No change. Even though I was making considerable more money. Because this is the thing that you have to understand. They will investigate you, but they will not investigate the company. This is how I got the job at Renecrate. They were investigating me, but they weren't investigating the company. And this still works to this day because people who own businesses are rare. People who have LLCs are rare. So, we went from business environments, then I got in the storage auction business, and that, oh my God, oh my God, that, that literally changed my life. I was making so much cash money that the Internal Revenue Service couldn't get, she couldn't get, uh, no one could get. And it, 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 it built me up over a period of time because... You know, when you're in that situation, you're always looking over your shoulder. You're always worried that your bank account's going to get garnished. And it, it just makes living so stressful. And I found that solution. I found the magic jelly bean. I found the ointment. It's uh, to have an LLC plus a few other tactics that we'll go into with this course. And fundamentally, if you have a job, your W-2 income is at risk. There's not a lot that you can do to change that unless you go through the courts and you get more time with your child and to reduce. That's that's only that's the only option you got if you got a job. Now, I urge you, I implore you to go beyond the job to get you a side hustle going on, to get you a small business. And you got to keep that to yourself. No millennial flexing and, you know, showboating. You know, if you got a Ferrari or a Lambo, keep that to yourself. When you go get your kids, go in the Suburban. Don't be flexing because one of the reasons that this worked, and I had a car 
that I would go pick up the kids in. She didn't know I had a BMW. She didn't know. Kids like, oh, dad's got a new car. They didn't really know what it was. You know, she's like, okay. You, you, and this is where, you know, hiding money in plain sight originates from because you don't have to bow down anyone. You don't have to kiss anyone's rear. You don't have to do that. But you also need to learn the art of discipline and silence. This is one of the things that um, gets people caught up because there was this one chick, she had a husband, he was self-employed, got divorced. And what she did is systematically, she went to his LinkedIn, she went to his website, and over a period of a year, she put together this composite of his business, and now he's paying her like $10,000 a month. If he had been like, he'd be paying her like five or 600 bucks a month, which is what he was paying. So understand, when you are in this situation, and I will say that most women are not going to go that far. But if you have a situation where you're dealing with someone who has a highly, a high emotional investment in getting back or hurting you or causing your life drama, this will help you because most women are reasonable, you know, because we all get in that moment where it's like, oh, every, you know, there's a lot of women out there who's like, look, I'm going to take little JoJo and I'll give you this. And they cool. As long as you keep up your end of the deal, you're fine. And there's another group of women out there. Doesn't matter. They come in for you because they're mad, they're hurt, and they're angry. And this is the genesis for hiding money in plain sight. Because um, one of the things that you will come to understand is you must look out for you. You must put together a way to take care of yourself. <clears throat> my daughter has a situation and I'm able to financially help her because I'm not broken. I'm not wounded. I'm not so depleted that there's money to help her. And there's money to, you know, for my business partner, Francine, there was money to help her. So not only is this about just stacking your money to keep it from her, but it's to keep you in a position where you can be a helpful decent human being because you're not broken by this mess. So this is just the first session and this is why I'm doing this course and this is why I'm putting it out there because there's a lot of dudes out there who are suffering needlessly, but no one's telling you the truth. No one's saying the things that I say and that's where you can get some help. All right. So this is the welcome to hiding money in plain sight. And then I will go ahead and tell you and show you and put together this list of tactics that you can use and they're all legal that's the cool thing about it. there is no we'll talk about the secondary market and the third market and i'll even skip you to the black market but i don't think you want to go there and then we'll get down so this video is the first section below this video is the links to the course and it's going to be good it's going to be very good. All right. So uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the course. If not, you have a great day.